have a wild time at Wild yeah. Adventures. We're going to be doing something very exciting today. We're going to um, be going to our favorite childhood theme park. That's that's where Zombieland was filmed. Hello, world. This hey. is Adventures with Ariel. Today I am here with my identical twin sister, Alex, my best friend in the Such world. Such a pleasure. We recently visited a favorite theme park from our childhood, if you don't count mm -hmm. Disney World or Universal. Yeah. We had a blast, but we definitely noticed that there were some things different mm -hmm. when we went this time than when we went when we were kids. As someone a little older now, I do go on, you know, all of the scary rides that yeah, the I, I rides, was like the roller coaster. Right, right. We were big and chickens. And the really spinny rides that go really high up in the air. Having gone on those roller coasters at Wild Adventures, I thought that some of them, because some of them looked really fun. I thought they oh, were oh, going. Oh, sorry guys. There's a our, cat our going in my cat is camera like box right now. That clicks. Please excuse all the noise in the background. She yeah. might be making an appearance in this video. You want to try getting her? Yeah. Hey, Tippy. Hey, Tippy. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, she hissed at me. Put the what she was on. doing. Yeah. She is mad. This is a mad cat. Now she wants to get out of the sunroom. So that boomerang in the background. It was a little fun. It was a little fun until it started getting like rough towards the end, and I started mm -hmm. banging my head a little bit. Yeah, that big one. And I it's just a, it's say, a hanging ride, which hanging rides are like among my favorite kind of roller coasters. If you look at it, it looks like it'd be really fun, but um, it was really rough. Like my ears were. Uh, yeah, she said her. She felt like a ping pong ball. Oh my it's head, back it just forth. bounces back and forth. Yeah. As someone who's a bit of a coaster enthusiast, Wild Adventures was a little bit of a letdown. Yeah. And I yeah, think it is one of the smaller When it came parks, to coasters. Yeah, they're kind of a letdown. There, right. there are some amazing parks that I've been to that have really great roller coasters and thrill rides like Carowinds, mm -hmm. Busch Gardens Tampa, and Hershey Park. My top three that I would yeah, recommend yeah. going to that aren't Disney World or Universal. The Six Flags parks are great, of course. Yeah. But I do want to point out the Cheetah roller coaster was a really yes. good one. Yes, Probably one of the ride. best wooden roller coasters I've ever been on. We got we we got in the very front row. We got to the very top, and I've never seen you do this before because hills don't use. Yeah, I've been on really, really big hills. Like hills way bigger. Than right, but for some reason that. it was taking so long to go over. Or, yeah, yeah, I just saw the forever. bottom. I was like, oh my bottom. gosh! No, I just grabbed onto my arm. Yeah, I was. <laughs> you were like, oh my gosh! Because it took so much time to get down the hill. Slowly looking down, it just makes it scary. And it was deeper than I thought. Mm -hmm. When it came to like its animals and some of the carnival rides, they were a whole yeah, lot that of fun. Was, yeah, that was cool. Cute. Ah. I love it. It's great. <laughs> I thought the safari train was pretty cool. Kind of a miniature version of Kilimanjaro safaris, safaris at Animal Kingdom. Which is, by the way, one of my favorite rides at right. Disney World. I would say it was almost like a miniature version of Bush Gardens. Yeah, it was. It yeah. was. Like the whole park was kind of a miniature yeah. version of Bush Gardens. In Tampa, there weren't any dark rides there. No, a dark a ride is kind of like I mean, it's like an indoor ride. It's mm -hmm. usually pretty dark lit. It's kind of like she knows a lot. Return about of the Mummy stuff, at Universal would be a roller coaster dark ride. Space Mountain would also be that. Pirates of the Caribbean, Peter Pan's Flight. Those yeah, are, those are all like, great examples. Yeah, dark lit indoor. So you learned rides. something new today. Splash Island. We did not get to visit that because it's so early mm -hmm. in the season. That did not exist when we were kids. So I'm sure with that joined in with mm -hmm. the yeah, that was a good idea. Park, it would be a better experience. I really liked the Tasmanian River Rapids. Ride. Yeah, like that was that was different. We were getting on the ride, and there were these there was this couple, and they were asking the people who worked on the ride if they could take their shirts off. They could take their clothes off oh, before yeah. they got on the ride. It's like, why did you even come on this ride if you didn't? Want to <laughs> yeah, I know. The River Rapids, the Cheetah, the Jungle Safari. Yeah, Jungle Safari. Actually, the Wild Mouse ride was pretty good. I think it was called Go Bananas. It was yeah. like one of the better Wild Mouse rides. Yeah, like Wild Mouse roller coasters are the roller coasters that mm -hmm. I'll put the video in so you can yeah. see what I'm talking about. <laughs> the theme park it featured in Zombieland, the Pacific Playland. They, yeah. they spend the whole movie trying to get this to this one theme park called Pacific Playland. It is not Pacific Playland in real life. It's and not it is, in California. Yeah. It is in Valdosta, Georgia, and it's called Wild Adventures. And I remember seeing that movie, and I, I instantly recognized that as Wild Adventures. I was like, Alex, oh my god, I think that's Wild Adventures. It definitely has improved over the years. They it, you know. Right, because it has a water park now. It has a few more rides. There was this one roller coaster called the Viking Voyage that we did not get to ride. I know, that actually looked pretty fun. Yeah, and we I heard that was good. We didn't get to ride um, the drop ride in Zombieland. Heavily yeah. featured in Zombieland when they're shooting down zombies. We yeah. did ride a few of the Zombieland rides. We yeah. ride Ferris Fury, which we went on as kids. Yeah. We did uh, that spinny ride that like twirls around. The spinny around. ride that hits the zombies. We got to go on some of those rides, so that was awesome. Just think, oh, and on the Wild Mouse ride, the Go Bananas. On that ride, I was imagining myself I was imagining like, how was Woody Harrelson able to 
just, fight zombies. Th- he was fighting there. zombies while riding there. I don't know how he did it because that ride is—that's so, amazing. You know, it's yeah. a little, it gets a little crazy. How did that ride that scene? Turns. I don't know. I'm really impressed. So cool. I was just um, thinking about that scene we were riding. I was imagining <laughs> shooting zombies. <laughs> I know. That's one of my favorite movies of all time. It was really cool to basically go back to the filming location of Zombieland. And when we went when we were kids, I mean, that was way before Zombieland came out. So Mm -hmm. it was cool going back after Zombieland. I am obsessed with collecting magnets. Everywhere I go, I get a magnet. Every new place I travel with my husband, with my sister, by yeah. myself, I always get a magnet. A lot of them, like, you had to have your a certain name. Right, and um, ne- neither one of us, you know, Ariel, you're not gonna see a lot of magnets. Her name is Alex with an I. Yeah, I'm never gonna never find seen, one, a magnet with but, my name so on it. So I just got one with just an A on it. <laughs> and it's pretty yes, cool. Yeah, so it's got, like, the hologram, ho- sorry, holographic effect. Adventures. It's a good little park. I would say it's a good little park. Yeah. If you are on your way down to Florida, or if you live in the area, you could get maybe season passes. I think it's a great place for kids, and I think it's a great place for adults if you're really into. Yeah. The like animal. we got to. Yeah. Like we got to see a lot of animals there that you actually couldn't. I've actually never seen at the zoo right. or anywhere else. Even if you have like just half a day. Yeah. Like you can do a lot in just half a day. A lot of adventures. Yeah. We did almost everything. It was only forty dollars a ticket. It's actually an option where you could pay $45 for two days, which is a great deal. We went on like the second day that it opened again and we were able to practically walk onto every Oh my gosh, yeah. that was awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be comment sure to down below. Comment down if below. If you have anything to say. Yeah, if you have anything to if say. Have, yeah. Maybe you disagree with us about some of I mean, We were a little harsh on Wild Adventures today. I love Wild yeah. Adventures. I mean, I still love it's it. A, yeah. It's a special place it. in my childhood. I was more than happy to film a video with you, and I w- might be filming some more with you soon if I come down and visit you in Florida. Please subscribe yeah. if you'd like to see more videos like this. Alex is an incredible yeah. artist. I um, draw color pencil portraits of people and pets and I have an Instagram and a Facebook page. Please follow her. She's incredibly talented, amazing artist. She also knows a lot about theme parks, which is why I want to yeah. feature you in my videos. We've had so many theme park adventures in our lifetime and I just hope we get to do more and make more videos about them because they're so much fun. As I as I like to say, have a magical day. Bye. <laughs>